Hello everyone, this is Kaiva. The United States will not collapse by war, but by the spies. Public facilities use flame-resistant materials. It is written in the law. Third grade flame-resistant materials are used in here. However, the first class flame-resistant materials almost never get burned. All materials used in the army, especially warships, use the highest grade flame retardant. The entire Bonham Richard was burned in July 2020. USS Bonham Richard is an aircraft carrier capable of carrying F-35B. I repeat that this is an aircraft carrier. First day, second day, third, and the fourth day. The aircraft carrier was burned for four days. USS Bonham Richard had powerful defense facility against fire even more than the missile defense. No building or ship in this world burned for four days. During war, most of the people get killed by fire or cannons rather than guns. So, especially the ship is thoroughly defended against fire. All materials of the Bonham Richard were incombustible, but they had to abandon Bonham Richard. It is weird. I don't understand. It is not enough to analyze with our head. We should analyze this with heart. We should analyze it through soul. From my childhood, I've liked history, archaeology, engineering, military, and political science. So I personally read a lot of books without entering the primary school. Kaheva will analyze it. Until now, the US government is not clarifying the cause of fire on Bonham Richard. I will disclose five reasons that Bonham Richard was burned by the people who were bought by the enemy spies. There are five reasons. Military ships can never be on fire unless it gets attacked. All materials are first class flame retardants. Even if a fire breaks out, it is immediately suppressed. If a fire occurs in the military ship, only a portion of the area gets burned. However, the entire Bonham Richard was burned for four days. Even the island of Bonham Richard was burned. Island is the carrier command post. USS Bonham Richard was attacked by the spies. The US government will never never announced which country's spies burned the warship and made it a waste. Military ships are afraid of fire even more than the enemy's missiles. So there are thorough fire prevention manuals. It prevents the outbreak of fire even after getting missile attack. During the World War II, the U.S. carrier Yorktown was burned by enemy attacks. Look at the picture. The enemy attack caused fire like this. But in an hour, they were able to suppress the fire. And within five hours, it was repaired and it sent a jet fighter out. The USS Yorktown CV-5 led the midway battle to victory. So it was once called the Immortal USS Yorktown CV-5. Today's carriers are technically thorough flame retardant facilities. If somebody claims that Bonham Richard was accidentally burned, it is the same as saying that the collapse of World Trade Center was caused by accidental mistakes. The cause of the fire on Bonham Richard is not yet clarified. It's because the US military sailor and engineer who were bought by the enemy spies caused the fire. There is an unwritten rule in the spy world. 
there is an unwritten rule in the spy world. The rule is not to disclose the events that have been caused by spies. Besides, spies don't leave any evidence. If the fire was caused by accident, the US government would have announced the cause. The US government cannot reveal it. The US government may know who burned the Bonham Richard. On February 15, 1898, the battleship Maine sank due to the explosion of mine installed by spies. 266 people were killed. This led to the war between the United States and Spain. Burning up the Bonham Richard would have been easier for the spies compared to blowing up the battleship Maine. Since Bonham Richard was under repair, many civilians and vehicles could enter the battleship. Personally, I think the head of the security team of the Bonham Richard and the head of the entire US Navy security team should also be fired. The security of warships is very tight. Even the sailor on the ship cannot enter the critical facilities. CCTVs are installed in all kinds of places on the ship. So if there's an accident, all the details are immediately monitored. But the US government is still not disclosing the cause of the fire. The US government will not make it clear and will remain silent. Even if a fire occurs in apartments, factories, passenger ships, etc., the cause of the fire is investigated in 99% of all cases. The causes of the fire on battleships are much easier to identify. Even if the spies may not have left any evidences, the US government would know who the criminal is. For the above five reasons, the Bonham Richard was destroyed and sunk by those who were bought by the enemy spies. In the future, you, the viewer, will be able to know which force attacked the USS Bonham Richard by seeing the actions taken by President Trump and the US government. President Trump is a man of peace. He will not solve this problem by starting a war. He will destroy the attacker in other ways. A while ago, I said that there is an unwritten rule in the spy world. Let's see historical evidence. It is commonly known that the United States participated in the World War I because the German submarine sank the American merchant ships. But there was another reason. It's the Zimmerman Code telegram. The decoded message was that if Mexico willingly attacks the USA, Germany will help Mexico. Knowing this top secret, the United States fought in the World War I to defend the mainland. This is the famous Zimmerman telegram. This decoded message was not open to the public at the time. Let's analyze it in common sense. A ship may be on fire during war or during sailing. Even if a fire breaks out during repairs, it is immediately overpowered. The USS Bonham Richard is now facing the end of life, but it could also be repaired for the honor of the United States. USS Bonham Richard was in charge of Asia. The United States defends itself from the low intensity and high intensity activities of enemy spies. Defending themselves from enemy spies is considered more important than missile defense. In 1592, Korea fought against Japan. In this war, Koreans defended their country. But in 1910, Koreans were deprived of their country by Japan, even without having war. To be exact, Korea was collapsed by Japanese spies and was conquered by Japan. In the Korean-Japanese War of 1592, Japan realized that they could never conquer Korea by war. 
So Japan decided to conquer Korea through the propaganda, sabotage, etc. by using their spies. If the United States collapses, the United States will collapse by the low intensity, high intensity activities by the enemy spies. This was Kaiva and see you in the next video. God bless you.